What is visual processing disorder? The visual processing disorder refers to a hindered ability to make sense of information taken through the eyes. Someone that has a VPD has a problem with interpreting visual information such as symbols, pictures or distances. Children with VPD can obviously cause difficulty in schoolwork and also impact life at home. Can visual processing disorder be cured? Unfortunately, VPD cannot be cured. But there are some therapies that can help those with the disorder. First, the behavioral vision therapy. This therapy works to improve visual perception and visual processing skills. There is also education therapy that have the goal is to assist children to work around their weaknesses. Learning to approach problems can help reducing frustration, increase self-confidence and lead to a greater success in school. Parents also can work together with the therapist and optometrist by having individualized vision therapy plan for the child. It was designed to correct visual motor and perceptual cognitive deficiencies. It is including the procedure designed to enhance the brain's ability to control eye focusing, eye teaming, eye tracking or visual processing skill. Hmm, what is the science of VPD? VPD people have difficulty copying information from the board or a book, have difficulty with similar patterns or shape and all similar letters or numbers. They also lose of attention and concentration, which is easily distractible. Closes place or skip words when reading. They are facing blurring of vision during and or after reading. And oftenly, they are clumsy, always bumping into things, and have inability to catch a ball and other similar things. Let's go over a few types of visual processing disorders. The first one is visual discrimination. This includes difficulty seeing similar letters, for example, B and D, P and Q, plus and multiple sign in mathematics. Figure ground discrimination Pulling shape out of a background or finding specific information on a page such as telephone number in telephone book. Using card to block the description while reading may be helpful for them. Visual sequencing include the ability to see and distinguish the order of symbols, words, and images. Hmm, how can teachers help this type of people? Practice reading books with large print. Larger print books may make it easier to process letters, which can have a positive impact on reading comprehension. Next, use an object to guide the eyes during reading. Help guide the eyes with a finger, a ruler, or any object that allows students to keep their place on page. Lastly, give students a break. Don't require students to use their eyes. Processing visual can be exhausting, so require students to use other senses such as their ears or sense of touch. In conclusion, the eyes look what the brain sees. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. See you later.